Guys, I'm moving out in two days. What the hell? I feel sad. I feel happy. I feel excited. I feel scared. I feel nervous. I feel buzzing. I feel every emotion you could possibly feel and I mean I'm mainly excited. It's a new chapter. It's a new era but at the same time can I look after myself? That is the question. Anyway, good morning guys. This is going to be the most exciting vlog on my channel. Like I'm moving out of my family house. Oh, my little earring's falling off. I've lived here for 22 years of my life. I've never moved out of my family house. Even, not even just my family house, but like I've never moved house. I've always lived here. So this is the first time that I'm gonna be moving house and it's on my own. It's gonna be mine. I can decorate it how I want. It's gonna be so exciting. So I thought I would obviously vlog the process because one, I share everything with you guys and two, I just think it'll be really nice to watch back in a few years or like even when I have children and they're moving out and we can like look back on the memories do you know what I mean today I am gonna start packing up all of my stuff because I get the keys in two days yes I am that bitch that hasn't even started packing yet I'm starting packing two days before I'm gonna be moving but I mean it's the same when I go on holiday like I literally pack my case six hours before I'm gonna be on the plane so great yeah i'm a last minute bitch i'm not very organized so how i'm gonna live alone i have no idea but i mean we move i'll figure it out <laughs> i have been in every home shop you can think of ikea home sense home <laughs> housing units where else have i been dunnell mill i have been to every homeware store and all of my friends have been saying tk maxx is the one like i've never been in tk maxx before not that i can remember anyway um so i'm gonna go have a look at their homeware because i've got most of the necessities which the living room is basically just covered in I don't even know what like I couldn't tell you what I've just been ordering so much online from Amazon and like all of the places but yeah there's no room on the floor you can't see the living room floor because I have so much stuff which I will show you like I'll go through a little I'll do like a little haul maybe um but I need like decorations so I need vases and like photo frames or like artwork or anything like that anyway i'm gonna stop talking because i feel like this segment of the vlog is gonna be hella long but welcome i hope you enjoy and i'm not gonna show the apartment in this vlog i am gonna do an apartment tour but i'm gonna do like an empty apartment tour because i feel like it might take me a while to like actually decorate it how i want it i was saying to my mum i just want to live there for a month with like hardly any been in the house just so I can see where I feel like things need to be. Does that make any sense? Mum's gonna come through the door in three, two, one. Um, five, four, three. Oh, there she is. Oh, how you go, just go. Look at how stunning my mum is. <laughs> you always look so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head off to TK Maxx. Uh, do you need to go anywhere else or like? I'm out of sweats for the first time in like five days. But this outfit actually turned out really cute. It wasn't planned, but I saw this top and with my hair in like this low bun, I mean, it's a messy low bun or like a high bun. It's like a mid bun. It's not like a top knot. I don't know. Um, I just wanted to wear something this color because this is honestly my favorite color to wear. I feel like because I've got blue eyes and kind of like olive skin, it just looks really nice. So this top is from Oh Polly. The jeans are from Pretty Little Thing and my trainers are Chanel. So I'll link everything down below. But this is today's outfit. I just wanted to get dressed up. Like it's a nice occasion. I'm moving out. I've also just had a delivery from Pretty Little Thing because mum has done my my holiday shop which we're going to do on a video i don't know when it's going to be out yet but i'm trying not to look i have seen like a couple of pieces on the top but she's just gone through it and said she loved everything so that will be out soon before i go i'm just going to have one of these little shots this isn't sponsored but i've got these shots from a juice company called pressed i don't know what 
flavour this one is, but I mean, we'll find out. Oh my god, it's strong. It's ginger. This is a ginger shot, so cheers. Oh my god, that's so strong. <laughs> Excellent, my immune system is gonna be unstoppable. Say hi, mum. Hello. You look gorgeous today. Oh, we've got like a similar colour on. I've just had to throw this hoodie on because it was freezing and imagine me just going out in that. But yeah, I'm going to head to TK Maxx, so see you there. Also, how annoying is it when your mum's in the car with you because I feel like she judges your driving. <laughs> right, so if anyone lives in Manchester, we're here by the way, we're at the fort. Um, if anyone lives in Manchester, come to the fort like there's so much here now oh my god how cute is this chair i mean it definitely does not go with my interior but if that was a different color like a, a beige or a white or black that would be it but i mean it's cute in yellow it just doesn't go with anything i swear every time i hear a baby cry i'm like okay that's why i don't want children do you see what i mean like i'm not there yet i'm not ready for motherhood but you know what, TK Maxx is actually nice, you know. There's some cute stuff in here. Might have to spend some coin today. I'm getting this one. It's really cute, it's like gold, black, and it goes with my interior very well. I'm so excited to show you, like, that's just hit me in the face. This lighting is so bad. So, I mean, hello. I have to vlog like this because otherwise you get a really bad down light. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be like black, white, and like hints of neutral, and then accents of gold. Am I an interior designer yet? Because like, hire me. Okay, everything I just said about the Manchester fort, I take back. It's shocking. <laughs> Even the TK Maxx, it was all right. Like I got my lamp and I got some tea and coffee like canister things. Um, Mum's driving my car because I've suddenly got a headache. But we just stopped for, by the way, she is insured before people start coming for me. Um, we just went and got a Costa and we've... I'm going to finish the sentence today. I think Mum's really enjoying my music, aren't you Mum? <laughs> I was playing Playboy Carty before and she was looking at me like... <laughs> this is why i get mum to drive because i can choose the music and i've just put on my story like mum just really was not impressed with that music choice <laughs> i was i was like taking selfies singing along and mum was just like not impressed <laughs> I was trying to block it out. <laughs> I was singing different songs in my head. Oh, goodness. Right, what's the plan? What's the motive when we go in? Start packing. Pack. We don't know where to start. Like, I've got so much makeup you and do clothes. The clothes. And I'll do all the pots downstairs and rebox them and tape them up. No, because that sounds fun. I'll, we'll do it together. We'll, we'll go through the... Oh. Oh. Yeah, like, look, at because I, I forgot what I've bought, so I can go through it all, and I want to show everyone what I've got anyway, so... Maddie, you'll probably find packing your clothes very exciting, because there are clothes No, because I've already seen them. No, you've not seen some of them for a long, long time. What's that? I promise you. I mean... know the delivery guy that well that is coming to dinner next Saturday. <laughs> He's not actually, by the way. But yeah, we're gonna oh, go in. Is. He is. Oh, he's, is he actually? <laughs> oh yeah, mum got a bag from TK Maxx. Oh, so she actually came out with a bag and I came out with a lamp. Oh, so the how the roles have changed. Yeah. The roles yeah. have definitely reversed. Right, so, don't really know where to start. This is all of the stuff that I have accumulated is that the right word um yeah we have a lot of it so we're basically gonna start unboxing it all and well unbox then rebox because i mean it's all like hanging out of its box at the minute but while i'm doing that i can show you what i've been buying so i need to actually set you up somewhere um maybe i'll sit you like here like these are the kind of things that i forgot about so i got this from dunnell mill it's a toilet brush i mean it's not very 
cute. It's not, yeah, it's just a toilet brush to be honest. But my guest bathroom is marble. Like the whole thing is marble. The walls, the floor, the toilet, everything's marble. So obviously I had to pick up a marble toilet brush. Exciting. Um, I mean, I've got pretty much... I've got loads of stuff. Nothing's really, really exciting. But let me show you my kettle. My kettle is exciting. So my auntie Sue bought me this. She loves this brand called Alessi. I don't know whether anyone's heard of it. But her house is basically just Alessi everything. I love a cup of tea. I have about 10 a day, which isn't great. But I just fell in love with this kettle when she bought it me. Like, I've never seen a prettier kettle. I've got all of, like, my kitchen stuff in here. Like, the kitchen uh, utensils and, you know, like, baking trays and things like that. I've got... What have we got over here? That's exciting. I mean, nothing's, like, really exciting. I've got my coffee machine, which my nana bought for me. This was quite an expensive one as well, so... Nana, not that you watch my videos because you don't even have internet, but I love you. So all of my cutlery, I don't actually know where my cutlery is. I got that like two weeks ago, so it's probably lost in everything. But I've got gold um, utensils, so obviously I had to get this gold knife set. Um, I've got some towels from Dunnell Mill. A little laundry basket because I'm going to have to learn to do my own washing. <laughs> We've not even got delivery men come in. I don't know how we're going to do it because, I mean, my brother and my dad are going to help out, but there's so much stuff. I have so much crap. It's a joke. Not going to lie. I'm doing a post for Club L and they sent me these sweets and honestly, they're the biggest blessing right now. They're helping me pack, you know? Mum's packing and I'm just eating sweets. <laughs> what I'm realising while I'm packing, it's actually disgusting how many pairs of trainers I have. It's disgusting, like... Sorry about the mess in the background, but how many pairs of Jordans does one bitch need? Not this many, hold on. Here's my first pair, which need a clean, obviously, but pair number one. Pair number two. Pair number three, which are basically the same as pair number two. I mean, the only difference is this one's got like a little bit of white. But pair number three. Pair number four. Pair number five. Pair number six, which these ones are my new favourites. I wasn't 100% sure on them when I got them, but now I'm obsessed. So what was that? Pair number five. Six. I'm actually embarrassed. What was that? Pair number seven or eight? Who needs that many Jordans? Got all my other trainers here. I've got my triple S's, um, my Air Force. Oh, I've got my Chanel's in there. Honestly, I need to stop spending my money on trainers. To be fair, I'm actually really hungry now, so I'm probably gonna go have something to eat or I might order something. In fact, I might order something because it's probably one of the last nights where I can actually order takeaway here. So I'm gonna have a look what takeouts I can get because the thought of cooking right now is sending me. I'm having a little break. I've got some veg. I just got a handful of sweet potato fries because I wasn't really feeling them. And this burger, yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like grilled chicken with chili and mayo and it's amazing on a bagel. So I'm gonna eat this and carry on. Oh my God, this is a lot. Good morning, Mumsy. Mumsy's on the pancakes. Love that. Good morning. Oh my God, I'm so excited today. So it's one more day left at home. I move out tomorrow. I've decided that I'm gonna do this vlog in two parts. So I'm gonna do the empty apartment tour and like the actual moving in process in part two. Today we've got more of an exciting day because last night, oh my god, I was so stressed. I didn't realise how much stuff I had. I've got so much crap, it's actually a joke. But we've got most of it boxed up. So this is just my shoes. Like, how is that even a thing? How do I have that many shoes? But it's fine. Um, I've also just boxed up some like lighting and stuff. And then a lot of my things are in the conservatory. So, 
Look at all these chickens. <laughs> Today, first on the agenda, I am featuring on Looking for Lewis's podcast, which I'm, I don't know why I have to say Looking for Lewis. Lewis's podcast, which I'm so excited about, it's called Pop Off with Lewis Ball, I think. Let me double check that. Pop off, yeah, it's called Pop Off with Lewis Ball. It's so good. He talks about like celeb culture and all that jazz. So definitely check that out. It's probably gonna be out in a few weeks or days I don't know I'll let you know and then my auntie's coming around because she's got some presents which that's always fun um and I'm gonna go to the Trafford Centre later and pick up my TV I'm gonna pick up my Jo Malone candles and all that jazz I've got all the necessities which I wanted to buy first so everything that I buy now is gonna be decoration so I'm gonna buy some candles I'm gonna buy a nice vase on another note um my my dad said that he's going to keep my room as it is for like four weeks so I can come home and film. I don't have to think about a new backdrop yet. So you're going to be seeing my fancy bed and fairy lights a little bit more on my channel. Also, I wanted to quickly mention that I've actually booked in to get my hair done. Like this is disgusting at this point. I've had these tapes in about i'm not even joking you're only meant to keep them in like two months max and i've had these in for about five months. I'm disgusting. Hey, my auntie sees here, but I'm just about to join my podcast with Louis. Well, Louis's podcast with me. <laughs> um, so I'm just joining in the Zoom meeting. I'm very excited. I've never used Zoom before. Never got invited to any of the Zoom quizzes, but I'm not gonna cry about it. Ah, done. That's gonna go up on Monday, Lewis said. We spoke about so much. We spoke about Love Island drama. We spoke about, you'll see in the podcast. I mean, it's gonna be out on Monday, so definitely keep an eye out for that. I've also just got some gifts off my auntie, which I can't believe what she's bought me, which I will show you in a minute, but she is just amazing. I put my hair up because it was getting on my nerves, but when I tell you my auntie kills it with presents i mean if you watched my christmas like what i got for christmas was that it um she bought me an off-white bag and some champagne and she got me the most insane presents so i was not expecting this because she asked me what i wanted and i was like some new bed sheets would be nice and she always has the nicest bed sheets so she has got me some which are in the conservatory but also got me some amazing presents i'll show you what i got um i need to set you up somewhere i'm just gonna hold you because i've got nowhere to put you but she got me a chanel book for my coffee table i do already have the prada one so it'll just kind of like stack nicely on my coffee table she also got me two of these candles from a brand called rocket saint george which apparently is a really really nice candle or like fragrance brand and they go really nicely with my interior again because it's like black and gold so she got me that one and this one which i like the saying on this love is the drug Yes, it is, sweetie. Oh my God, I can't believe she bought me this. Now, I know this is a bougie-ass brand. Like, you see these diffusers and things like this in the sickest hotels, and she bought me one. So, I don't know whether anyone's heard of this brand, but let me tell you, it's bougie. So, she got me a big-ass diffuser to go in my living room, and... I mean, that is like the size of my head. From the same brand, she also got me one of the room sprays, which doesn't want to come out, so I'm gonna leave it in there. Um, and then, yeah, she got me my bed in as well. So, Auntie Sue, I love you. I can't believe you bought me these. Quick OOTD, I just wanted something comfortable. So I've got my peaches, like one piece on, which this is really cute, actually. I love their gym wear. Um, this coat is from PLT. My Louis bum bag and Chanel trainers. Woo. We have made it into town. The lighting in shops is always so bad. Like, can we just talk about that? Compared to that. <laughs> Called Bay Tree Interior. And it's so beautiful. It's in the Arndale where the Costa Coffee is. And their interior is just like, this is what I want my house to look like. We're now in Curry's. We've not bought anything yet, but I'm getting my TV. This is the one I'm getting. Um, mum and dad are buying me that so thank you mum and dad 
Um, but yeah, I have no idea about TVs. I was like, if it's got YouTube, if it's got Netflix, and I can get Sky, I'm happy, period. <laughs> okay, we're now in Selfridges, and is it just me, or have they really upped their game in like the beauty bit? It's so much nicer now. Um, I'm gonna get some Jo Malone stuff, and I'm also gonna get a little bit of makeup, so I'll show you that, because Obviously, if I'm shopping, I need to treat myself, not just my apartment. Do you know what I mean? I've picked up everything I needed, and we're also having my TV just casually roll through the Arndale. Excellent. Look at mom. <laughs> Hello, guys. I'm back home. So, I'm going to do a little like haul of what I got. This is all the exciting stuff. I'm not going to show you my cutlery, although this is a cute ladle. Sorry, my dad's carrying my TV in. I've just left them to it, to be honest. Two candles from Dippity Q. I got the vanilla one. My friend got me, my best friend got me the Oud one. So that one's my all time favorite. This brand is so beautiful. So um, I already had the Oud one, but I thought I would try the vanilla one. And I also got the Amber, um, I don't know how you say that, this one. Um, this one I've never actually had before, but I smelt it in the store and it's gorgeous. I picked up this White Company um, hand wash for my guest bathroom because, you know, it's bougie. I picked up some things from Jo Malone, but this one actually is just for me. Like, this isn't a homeware product. Sorry, Dad's just chilling in the background. Um, so I picked up this Mer and Tonka cologne, which is so gorgeous. I actually got the diffuser in this and then decided that I needed the perfume as well. Then in terms of home stuff, I also bought makeup, which I will show you as well. In terms of home stuff, I bought the diffuser to the perfume, which this is just gorgeous. And also a hand wash. This is for my kitchen. So this one is the Mimosa and Cardamom hand wash. And then makeup wise, I just picked up. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. So I picked up my foundation, which is the Huda Beauty foundation in Macchiato. This foundation is insane. So I picked one of them up because I ran out. Oh my God. Oh my god, the girls have put some testers in. Oh, that's so cute. One of the girls at Huda says she watches my videos. So she's popped some little testers in for me. Oh my god, that's so cute. Um, oh my god, this oh my god, she's put so many testers in here. So we've got some testers of the K Ali perfume. Oh my god, girl, if you're watching, thank you so much. I also picked this up, which I saw this on Han's story and fell in love with it. So this is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Let me show you this palette. Oh my gosh. I feel like this could be soft glam, which is my all time favorite. How beautiful is it? I mean, I'm not really a makeup person. I don't really care about it that much. But when I saw this and felt it, I needed it, so yeah. Is that our food? We've ordered Chinese to celebrate my last night. And I also picked up a beauty blender, but food's here now, so that's more important. It's food time, we ordered Chinese. You know it's a celebratory moment or a weekend when we have Chinese. I mean, the fact that we're ordering Chinese on a Wednesday clearly shows that we are celebrating me moving out okay i've got sweats on again and i just spent the last two hours doing my closet we're pretty much halfway done but i'm gonna go for a break because i am just exhausted we are getting there slowly but surely i feel like i thought this vlog was gonna be a lot more interesting than it was um <laughs> but i feel like part two of me moving in which will be up next week um will be a bit more exciting because i get my keys and i'll be moving all my stuff in and you can see the apartment empty so that's going to be more of the fun vlog this one's more of like the practical vlog does that make sense? But um, yeah, I'm going to sign out this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for being 
on this journey with me. I was speaking to my dad earlier and I was just saying how amazing it is I get to take you on my little journey. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you all and this honestly would not be possible if it wasn't for you guys. So I love you, I appreciate you. Thank you so much and don't forget to stay tuned for part two which will be the empty apartment tour. I can show you around my new home and yeah. I love you all, I've said that about a million times and I'll see you in the next vid.